guys, and welcome back to the Super Yummy Kitchen. And today we're going to cook one of the greatest sunshine vegetables of all time in the sunshine. We have got corn frizzlers. Wonderful sweet corn, a little bit of spice and a crispy pancake with a wonderful fresh minty yogurty dip. I can hardly wait to get cooking with you. Turn up the heat, sweet corn. <laughs> First of all, just let me whisk you through the ingredients. We've got, of course, wonderful golden sweet corn. We're going to make a little batter with some eggs and some flour. I've got a little herb cumin that's just a little bit spicy, a little bit curry, and some spring onions chopped up, some wonderful finely chopped chilies to give it a little bit of heat, uh, some fresh mint, and I'm going to mix that with some lovely low-fat yogurt to make a really great dip. And then our little super yummy ingredient Wonderful, wonderful, finely grated sweet potato. In fact, let me show you what a sweet potato looks like. Ken T, can we have a show the kids what a sweet potato looks like? Lovely. So this is what sweet potatoes actually look like. What is it with you and carrots, Ken? I know you like carrots, we don't have to go in everything. We're talking about sweet potatoes now. Must have one here, so let's have a look. Oh, here we go, hiding underneath the corn. So this is a sweet potato, a really kind of weird looking thing. Kind of not potato at all, a little bit starchy. We've got this amazing orange colour. It's going to work so well. So let's get cooking. Turn up the heat, sweet corn. So the first thing we need to do is to make the batter that's going to bind the whole thing together and turn wonderfully crispy in the pan. So I'm just going to sprinkle in. We're using wholemeal flour with a a little bit of baking powder in there as well, just to make it a little bit bubbly and a little bit more spongy and bicarbonate soda as well. And those things work together to make it kind of more fluffy and a little bit more spongy. Then I'm going to actually crack the eggs in there as well. Quickly do this. One egg and two eggs. And then we're going to pour in the milk. And the next bit is the whisking bit. And this is the really great bit, kids. So it looks a little bit muddy in there now, and we have to mix the whole thing together. So we're going to whisk it away until it goes thick and chunky and a little bit sloppy and slimy and keep working it as hard as you can. And it has to go about five or ten minutes. It's really, really good. <laughs> Now, after all that, you've got a really nice, smooth batter ready for all the other bits and bobs to go into it. Great job, Darcy. Give it a good stir, and when that's done, you can help me out by grating that lovely sweet potato. <laughs> So the rest of the ingredients then, I'm gonna go with sweet corn first, because that's my favorite. We're gonna sprinkle in the sweet corn. Wonderful sweet corn. And then what should we go? Let's go. The fantastic chili peppers. A little bit of spicy heat. In they go. Brilliant. Wonderful spring onions. Wow. And then the super yummy secret ingredient. Fantastic, not carrots, sweet potato. Wonderful, wonderful sweet potato. Gosh, that looks good. Just look at that. Absolutely lovely. Stir that all in together. And it's quite thick now. Lots of colour. Mmm, smells amazing. I can hardly wait to get those fries. So let's give it a little kick with a little bit of black pepper with my favourite mini pepper grinder. Oh, that looks good. A um, little bit of bicarb, give it a little bit of lightness. A little bit of baking powder, make it even lighter. And cumin. Oh, smells great. It's kind of curry, but not curry. Absolutely lovely. Let's pop that in and mix the whole thing together. Oh, the smell is just, wow. Wow, look at that. It's so chunky and lovely. We're going to turn up the heat, sweet corn. I'm going to pop a little bit of oil into this pan. Now, obviously, we've got to be really careful. You can use all kinds of things in these fritters. We've chosen to use sweet potato, but wonderful things like carrots, beetroot, with courgette, peppers. Now, when the oil gets really hot, we need to be careful, but we're going to put a little ladle at a time, not too many, we don't want to crowd the pan, just two or three, and then we keep them warm till we've done all the mix, and we're going to have them with a really scrummy, super yummy, minty yoghurt dip. Oh, the smell's amazing. The cumin, they're crispy. They're kind of crispy and squidgy on the inside. And so I'm just going to gently start to move them around in the pan. Be quiet, because they're quite fragile. They're a little bit like sort of corny crumpets. Absolutely delightful. 
Now I'm going to leave those for a little bit while watching them. I'm going to make a fantastic mint yogurt dip and then we're ready to scrum and eat them. Turn up the heat, sweet corn. So we're going to make a simple yogurt dip using one of my favourite herbs, mint. I'm just going to finely chop it. When it's chopped up, the really important thing to release all those herbs, some people clap mint, which is a rather strange thing. I like to iron mint. Here we go, mint. Absolutely lovely. Bit of iron mint, get all the lovely flavour coming out of it. Smells amazing. It's like clouds of mint perfume. I'm going to mix that in with the yoghurt, really easy to do. Sprinkle the mint on top, keep it a little stir, pop that in there, you can see that. And we're ready to go. Got a little plate here, little bit of mint dip. Little. <laughs> there we are, corn frizzless with an amazing minty yogurt dip. And now it's over to you, Meg, in Ken T's allotment. What are you saying, Meg? For adults, two to three heaped tablespoons of sweet corn will count towards one vegetable portion for the day. For children, it needs to fit into the palm of their hand. Sweet corn contains lots of fibre to help children keep fuller for longer. To see this recipe, check out our Super Yummy Kitchen channel on YouTube. Happy cooking. See you all next time. Bye. <laughs> Chartwells, providing Super Yummy school meals every day. See you then.